Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. Is the issue in the southeastern region of the country where uh, the clash between the members of IPOB and uh, military officers is, uh, is running into what has become a curfew now um, declared by the governor of Abia State? I have with me in the studio Professor Banji Akinto, a historian, elder state man, and also a legal practitioner, Mr. Kechiku Ikeja, a regular analyst here on China's television, and Mr. Dafe Akwede, a senior advocate of Nigeria who's been talking to us uh, from uh, downtown Lagos. Let's continue with the conversation right now. Um, Professor, from the dimension that we've seen this issue now, it's turned into an issue in River State where there's a clash now. People are said to have been killed in uh, something uh, somewhat a reprisal. What do you think should be the immediate action of government on this issue? The federal government of Nigeria under President Buhari owes us the duty now to uh, bring this growing tension to some, to begin to dampen, to begin to douse the tension and return our country to orderliness and peace. I don't think that he owes us the duty now of suppressing anybody. I don't think that that is the road, the road to, do, to go. Do you think it's I a, think the road to go? Is suppressing anybody or is just a, a, an activity of the military? That is, oh, well, the military doesn't act unless the president of Nigeria commands them to act. Don't let us make a people, people think that the military is some sort of entity that can just go on and, and do its work. No, it's not like policemen in the streets. When policemen in the streets see a crime being committed, they don't need to go and ask the governor or the president or anybody. They act immediately. The military is not like that. The military does not move unless the president of Nigeria orders them to move. And so they are going to the east or going to the south, south, earlier on, uh, is entirely a product of an order from the president of Nigeria. So don't let us... Don't let us begin to talk of the military as if they are some independent entity. Would you say that the military is that not an independent entity in any country? Would you say that Operation Python Dance should uh, that operation should be called off? I think the president needs to look at it. And if I was sitting in front of him, I would say, Mr. President, call this thing off and lead us through peaceful means towards a resolution of the problems of our country, and we can achieve. Peace. Uh, you asked the question earlier on. How do you think uh, the president can do this? And the president has uh, the president's uh, office uh, did say about two weeks ago. Oh, the president cannot just dictate uh, uh, restructuring to Nigeria and so on. Yes, that's true. But the president can guide Nigeria along the path to to, to restructuring. When you have come to a point in the life of a country that from all imaginable angles, a request is being made for a particular step. It is incumbent on the rulers of the country to look at it carefully and to attend to it and not treat it as if it doesn't exist. Okay. We saw this example, this type of situation in India after the secession of Pakistan and Bangladesh. The, there were other nationalities in India that wanted to secede also. And a lot of people who didn't want India to break up, then began to demand okay. uh, the restructuring of the federal okay, government. You the will country. explain to us, because that restructuring has become like a cliche, but let me allow uh, uh, Mr. Ikechuku Ikeji to come in on, on, on this one. Legally speaking now, the rule of the army and in a civil environment like this, uh, what do you think should be happening in terms of what the police should be doing and what the army should be doing and what exactly happened to... Not, not casting blames this time around. No, no. But there's no way you would speak without um, apportioning blames in this scenario. There is no reason for the military to enter into Abia State at all. There is no, the, the, there's no breakdown of public order or uh, security that the police cannot handle. You can, you are a journalist, you can testify to that. If you look at section 217 of the Constitution, it lists certain um, functions of the military, of the army and the other um, arms of the, arms of the military. In doing that, it says that the, the, the president can uh, decide the operational use of them 
according to an act by the National Assembly. And the National Assembly has made an act, the Armed Forces um, Decree, the Armed Forces Now and Act, 1993, under which the operational use of the army will be for the maintenance of public order and public safety and public um, security. So the question is, was there any apparent, ostensible, clear, unambiguous, or undebatable breakdown of law and order? Or that's it, that's, it, that's in the constitution or did they talk about when there is a situation of insurrection? Where the is, this an, is there an insurrection? Insurrection means simply raising a different opposition force against the state. Yeah. That is insurrection. There is no insurrection. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Dafi Akwede, yeah. Uh, as it stands right now, you were sounding a word of caution uh, right now. If we will learn from our history and going forward, the agitation seems to be uh, multifaceted right now. What would you say we should be doing right now? Okay.